invite you to be here.
my guilt here. You're here today. I hope if you haven't already felt that joy that comes down into your heart, I hope you can soon feel it and come home and be with a family that will open up their arms to you. And you can walk with us and you can talk with us. And someday we'll all go home together. I, Brother Terry's gone and Brother Keith. Brother Terry's with his grandchildren and Sister Rita. Remember them this morning as they're on their journey on the road. I know what it's like. I'm now many miles from my children. And sometimes you got to do things that you just have to do. you got to see and spend time with your loved ones. And we also have some here on a prayer list I want to read. And then i got a mind to sing a song and turn it over to these brethren. Got a hold of Brother Willie and Brother Darrell last night. Me and Brother Felton had talked, Brother Junior. We had a strong mind. If they would come and be with us, God bless them. I believe the Lord would give them a mind to come. Yes. We're so glad they're here. We want them to be right at home. Yeah. We want them to just feel God's spirit down in their soul and turn loose and let it go. Yes. We're, we're children. We're running out of time. And we need God's gospel preached to the people today. There's too much foolishness going on. This is a sincere thing, and it's sincere, and it's in love. And I'm, I'm going to try to read this prayer list, and we'll move along. But Sister Rita and Message Man wanted us to remember Thomas Osborne. He's, he's now been moved to hospice, but you know, or they've come in, I don't know which way. But that's not always a death sentence anymore. It used to be. So let's hope and pray that the Lord's will be done and that this be his will that he can bring him back into a, a good, healthy state. I've got Renee and family, or the Renee and the Gilliam, Gilliam family, Sister Berlin Ruggles, God bless her. We miss her here at the church. And I have to mention, there's one walked in here today that just Open joy in my heart. All of them did. Says, honey, I've missed you so much. Thank you. Yeah, Lord. <laughs> Sue Ruggles. Mike Leslie. Says he has cancer. The Lord knows all about it. And the family of Helen King. That's where up from north where we come from. Brother Ivan King was a wonderful, wonderful brother. And his wife. They'd never give her hand to the church, but I believe she was a wonderful, wonderful sister that robbed herself of some joy by hanging on to that seat back there. And now they're both gone. Brother Ivan would call me even when I moved down, and all oh, we had some wonderful conversations. What a merciful family that is. So pray for that whole family. They've lost them children, have lost now both daddy and mommy within just a matter of months. So you never know when it's going to come to you. If I've missed anyone, uh, you can let it be known. Brother Marty, remember Junior? He wasn't able to come today. Yeah. He's down in his back and hip and leg. I don't know. He's walking with a cane again. <laughs> well, bless his heart. We sure would have loved to see him come too. I don't mean to leave anybody out, but I figured. He would be here if he could. But there's a song I told Brother Junior. I like to step up today. I never try to step up front of nobody. But I have a song on my mind I want to sing. And it just seems to me like the times we're in. You know, God has a reason for all things. We stepped in here probably about a year in around March or so, April of 2020. With, a, with something coming upon us that we didn't know anything about. And yet today we still wonder. Yeah. But it does seem to appear it's getting better. It appears that the cries and the prayers of the righteous are still availing and much. Than much. Yeah. And the Lord is still hearing us. And I want to sing a song today about how it's always been. And then we're going to have Brother Junior and the brothers gather around.
Brother Ronnie, Sister Barb have requested hands to be laid on them. Anybody else? And anybody else, feel free. If you don't want to be seen on camera, we'll come down there. We love you. We love you. And then we'll go from there. But just as I sang this song, think about the, what the Lord has blessed us back to already. And how thankful we should be. Sister Darling, honey, if he gives you a mind to move today, move. If he gives you a mind to rejoice, let's rejoice. We've got something to rejoice about. Amen. We've got something to give him thanks for. Many things happen here that we don't understand. God works in mysterious ways with his almighty.
Oh Lord, according to thy will. Father, we bow our knees unto the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, this morning. Oh, God, we come to you, Lord. Our Father, we faithfully come. Then whatsoever, Father, it'll be done this morning. Oh, Lord. 
It's my children yeah, again today. But this time they're all in and everything's okay. Lord, I want to have a little walk with you. Lord, I want to have a little talk with you. Lord, it seems I'm always asking of you. But this time, Lord, I just want to say Thank you, thank you for their battles you have won. Thank you for the times you brought them home. Thank you for their love you sent my way. Lord, I just want to thank you today. Someday I hope that they will love you too. And be thankful for the things that you do. Until then, would you protect them with your hand? Thank you, Lord, for the strength on which I stand. Lord, I want to have a little walk with you. Oh, yeah. Lord, I want to have a little talk with you. Lord, it seems I'm always asking of you. But this time, Lord, I just want to say thank you. So I hope that everybody here has thanked the Lord today because he's been good to you. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been good to me. And, and, and uh, Brother Fred, I, I find that I don't thank him nearly enough. No, I sure don't. No. And that's one good thing that I really love about coming out to the house of the Lord. Because you know what? There's nothing that humbles me anymore than, than seeing brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, kneeling down, becoming humble, and understanding why we're here to worship the Creator, Spirit, and in truth. It lets me, it's, if I can say it this way, Brother Willie, it's a gut check time. Mm -hmm. I examine myself and I see all the faults that I have and how in the world could the Lord be so merciful yeah. to somebody like me. Yeah. But you know what? I'm just thankful that He is. And, 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 and one of the things I, I really love and that's, uh, you know, of course, uh, the laying on of hands. You know, mm -hmm. hey, listen, there, there's nothing that, that, that to me is any more, uh, if I can put it my way, helpless. Because knowing good and well, yeah. we can do absolutely nothing yeah. without Christ. Amen. We're in complete dependence upon Him. Yeah. The ones that come and, and, and are doing as the Bible instructs them to do and, and putting their faith not in the man, but, but in the way in Jesus Christ who is the way. Doing exactly what, what the book tells them to do. So they're surrendering themselves to that way. And here uh, uh, asking the people to come and, and do what they're supposed to do. Knowing that, that we can do absolutely nothing apart from Christ. It's a humbling, sure humbling feeling. Yeah, sure it lets me understand, friends, that, that exactly what I am. And that we depend solely upon Jesus Christ for, for our next breath. For everything that we do. Mm -hmm. and, but I'm going to give that to you too. Uh, but you know what Be just becoming so humble becoming that way to understand that we can do nothing I'm glad that we have a mediator yes, yes. and you know I got to thinking about that just about being a, a mediator you know that's exactly what Jesus is to us you know what he represents us yeah. and he represents God he, he's the one that, that, that talks to you. You see, we, we went away. We, we went astray. We've all sinned, come short of the glory of God. And sin is what separates us. Let's not forget that. And, and so that's exactly what we've done. And, and friends, I agree with what you brothers have said. I, I believe both of you. Time is not going to last much longer. You better be thankful that we have a mediator uh, that is Jesus Christ. And friends, why? Because he is, he, when he walked upon this earth, he was God in the flesh. 
Amen. He knows what it is to be God. He is God. He knows what it is to be man. And so, so you see, here we have us uh, having absolutely nothing to offer but him being that mediator, uh, negotiator, if you will, uh, bringing the two parties together. And friends, nobody can do it but Christ. And he knew the penalty that it was going to require. And he knew exactly what needed to happen uh, to reconcile us back to God. And friends, he was the only one that could do it. And that's why we're here today. We're not here to say, uh, uh, Brother Marty, that you have to live uh, this particular way. You have to wear this particular set of clothes or, or you have to say this so many times or go I'm not down in nobody. I'm just saying there's one mediator. And he died for you. And friends listen. He, he not only just died for you. He rose again for you. He's the only way that you can get to heaven. You see as a, as a lost person as a person or a race even of the human race. We were lost. Now we wanted heaven we just had no way to obtain it. Hey, listen, I wanted heaven. I wanted to escape hell. I, you know what? It's just the way I wanted it, but I had nothing to offer. But Jesus Christ, being that mediator, being the propitiation for my sin, taking my place on the cross, it's worth coming out to his house today. It's worth giving him a little glory to not be ashamed, as you were saying. You know what? It's one thing to miss out on a blessing. It's another thing to miss out on him. Yeah. Hey, listen. I don't want to miss out on the blessing, but I, I said it the other day, uh, uh, Brother, uh, Brother Junior, that if you miss heaven by an inch, you're going to split hell wide open. It makes no difference how good you think you are. Apart from Christ, you're not going to obtain, you're not going to have your name enrolled in the Lamb's Book of Life. And friends, listen, it's important. So I, I want us to get our minds Upon heaven today. Upon that mediator. The one that, that, that can look out and say, I freely forgive. The one that hung up on the cross and said, it is finished. He did every work. He did it all on Calvary so that we could have something that we don't deserve. And that is Jesus. And, and so uh, I, I want you to know that, you know, I do believe that time, if you, if you just look out, and you see all the things that's going on. You know, uh, uh, things are progressing so rapidly now. Yeah. I had a talk with, with someone not long ago about that. You know, uh, things are just uh, leaping forward. Uh, uh, the uh, technology and all this stuff is just leaping forward and going so fast and so fast to where we're starting to leave God out of stuff. Yeah. And if you go back into the scripture, you'll oh, see, friends, going, going all the way back into Genesis. And, and there was a time whenever God looked down into the hearts of men and he saw that, uh, friends, that, that man was wicked. He, every imagination of their hearts was wicked continually. And he saw this. And so he pronounced it upon himself that he was going to destroy uh, everything. And so, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, he did find grace in one, uh, and that being Noah. And listen, Noah uh, must have been a pretty good fellow. He must have really loved God. He must have been an obedient uh, a servant. I know this because uh, uh, God instructed him to do something that had never been done before. And he followed it, my uh, friends, exactly the way the plan was. And uh, you see, and so he uh, then built something uh, that was actually a salvation to the human race. Because listen, my uh, friend, uh, through Noah uh, came the line all the way down to Christ. Which friends, uh, as we know, is the Savior of the world. And so here we have a man who was obedient. He found righteousness, grace in the sight of God. And listen, and friends, listen, he did again, being obedient, doing what he said. And then it wasn't long after that, man started getting wicked again. Yep. And, and this is what I guess I want to get to is because we see uh, uh, what the way the world is today. All this technology, all these things. I mean, going to space, going to here, and, and being able to do this, being able to communicate with someone around the world in just seconds. All this stuff is going on, and, and it's untelling what they're going to come up with next, and they just keep going and keep going. And friends, uh, I'm not against technology. I'm just saying that the, the human mind, that, that they want to leave God out of it now. They, they want to say, you know what? We can do this. We can step forward. Well, there was a time whenever their friends, all the people got together and they started saying something. They said, let us, let us uh, 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 make bricks. Let us build a city. Let us build a tower. 
Uh, you see, friends, they kept going. Up. And any time uh, that somebody starts out something with let us or let me or I'm going to, uh, friends, you're leaving the most important part out. And so uh, it's a false religion. It's a false way. It's a way that's doomed to fail. You can't start. That's why uh, you said in your prayer, uh, there is one person that is Alpha and Omega. There is one that is the beginning and the end. A uh, friend that is Jesus. And it's got to start with Jesus. Amen. And it'll end with Jesus. Amen. So anytime you start in your daily walk or in your work or at home or anything in your life, that you make up your mind, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that, you're destined to fail. It better start out with, Lord, what would you have me do? Because, friends, and listen, so that's what they did back in that day. Uh, they started saying, let us uh, do these things. Let us build a tower up to the heavens. You see, they was, let us make a name for ourselves. Friends, today, I want to get that upon your mind. Listen, you may think that you have the world by the tail. You may think that you're uh, uh, doing all this, and you may even think it's for the good of all people. It's for the good of this and that. But, friends, if you are trying to do something apart from Jesus Christ, yeah. That's right, I'm going to put it like this. It's evil. Mm -hmm. yeah. It doesn't matter what the world may say about it. God is good. All good things come from above. Amen. All things that you do on your own is evil work. It doesn't matter if it prospers for a time. It doesn't matter if it causes somebody to have something for a little while. If it's apart from Christ, it'll profit you nothing. Today, I want you to get Jesus Christ, the center point of your life. When you wake up in the morning, thank the good Lord. Look to him. What would you have me do? As you have a question throughout the day, when you're down, when you're up, whatever the case may be, you need to look to Jesus, that one mediator, that one that, that sits on the right hand of the Father, uh, making intercession for us. Uh, that one person, friends, uh, that paid the penalty for you. That one person that took the stripes for you. That one, uh, friends, that paid it all. And is offering you something that man cannot offer. Amen. We're living in a time when little by little we keep forgetting about the Creator. We keep thinking about this way is, is, is the way of the future or this is the thing that's going to make life easier or, or this is the way it all done this. Or, and friends, when we're leaving God out of it, when you leave Him out of it, you're destined to fail. Today, I don't want you to fail. God has a purpose for everybody. God died on the cross for everybody. God made a way for everybody. He loves you today. He made the way today. He is the way today. If you have issues, if you have, you know, he never promised us that Brother Lama was going to have it made in this life. He promised us that we would have a home in heaven. And if you have a home in heaven. You have it all. Your, your job, if I can put it that way, is to be a light. This sister, sister around here somewhere, son, uh, about being a light. It's important to be a light. And it's important to let that light shine. And I always say it this way. If you're, if you're in a place, and listen, there's a way. Just like this uh, brother and sister came up and had their uh, wanted hands laid on them. You know, th there's a way to do it. And I want you to understand exactly right, brother. You cannot do this your way. You cannot be a good light to those around you your way. You must do it the way Christ laid it out. It starts, it starts with being born again. And then it, you must go to the water. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm a firm believer. I'm, I'm talking. If you want to be a lot, if you if you want to if you want to be beneficial, if you don't go to the water, you're skipping a very important step. Amen. It's important for you to uh, join yourself to a church, if I can say it that way. Get to a body of believers where you can gain strength, and you can you can come out, you can worship the Lord, and you can uh, get ready to fight that fight, and you can grow in this thing. It's important. Because we are in a war. And the good news is, we're on the winning side. Amen. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, I get to go to heaven.
Not because there's anything going to Fred great about me. It's because of what's been applied to me. Yes. And so I want to leave you with that. You can never work your way in or do enough good things. That's right. But you can humble yourself before the Lord. And he can apply that blood to your, to, uh, to your soul. And your name can be enrolled in the Lamb's Book of Life because the mediator between us and God paid that price and is that bridge so that we can have a relationship. We can be redeemed. Not because of us, but because of him. Now we have responsibilities. And it's important for us to do what we're called to do. And we're to, I think the Bible puts it, we're all to praise the Lord. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise, praise the Lord. So praise him today. Praise him. Give him glory. Yes. He loves you. I'm going to get out of Brother Willie's way. One plus one. Well, we're going to get this again, brother all the time. Again, no, no. We, 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 we won't give you that brother no, all the time. We won't give you all the time. But in my, in my final words, it's important to understand. <clears throat> we, don't carry, we don't carry the gospel around with us in a dog. We don't walk. But I will say this. The Lord's been good. The Lord's always with us. He's faithful. He is faithful. He born me again and made me a new person. I love each and every one of you. I can say that because I'm born of love. Because Jesus put a new walk in my in my in my steps. But He loves you. Don't ever forget that. He paid for you. God bless you. preach without the Lord. I do understand where my help comes from. And I say that a whole lot. I think my daughter heard me sometimes. She goes, you say that every time. I do. I do. It's mainly for me. For me. You know, I, I do understand that I cannot preach without the Lord. Uh, pray for him if you will. I may say a few verses and Maybe say a few words and see what direction God may lead me. We'll, we'll go from there. What you see before you, I've not always been. I
certainly is my king, and I'd, I'd not trade him for anything. He's, to me, he's the king of kings. Amen. And the Lord of Lords. Amen. Amen. He's everything in my life. Because of him, I have life and have it more abundantly. Because of him, I get to go to heaven. Amen. Because of him, I've escaped the fiery pits of hell. Amen. Because of him, I can have peace in a land that's full of heartaches. Because of him, I can find healing uh -huh. if it be his will. Right. Because of him, I am nigh to God. Because of him. So yes, he, he is my king. Amen. And it took me a little while to realize that I wasn't the king. Right. That it wasn't my way. Right. That it wasn't in my power. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, like the song says, I was the beggar. Yes, sir. But I didn't realize that. No. But I'm thankful today that God knew what we needed. Yes. God knew what I needed. Yes. And he knows what would get my attention. Yes. And I'm glad he got my attention. That, that, that his spirit, mm -hmm. it was a revealing spirit, that it opened my eyes and allowed me to see where I was at, what I needed, and Amen. where I was going. Yes, and because of him, <laughs> when I surrendered myself unto him, and he born me again, because of him, now I know because his spirit, that same spirit that showed me where I was going, that same spirit that revealed unto me where I was at and where I was headed, I guess what? He said his spirit will bear witness with my spirit that I am huh, a child of the king. And now that same spirit lets me know that I no longer am in that way, but I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus the Lord. Yes, that's all right with me. Uh, that doesn't always fit in with the world, does it? That doesn't always uh, uh, jive with what the world has. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, but you know what? Uh, we're not to fit in with this world anyway. Uh, if you're uh, trying to fit in with this world uh, and get along uh, and kind of go with the flow, uh, and you're going in the wrong direction. Uh, uh, for the children of God, uh, uh, we are not to fit in with this world, are we? Uh, we're a call. People, we're a peculiar people, a holy nation, a royal priesthood, the blood that flows through these veins. Guess what? They're the royal blood of Christ Jesus the Lord. He has born us again, abounded us, put on a solid foundation, and he's told us something, didn't he? He said he's coming again, and I believe that. People say that's a little bit different, and it's a little bit, you know, you're, you're just, a, you act a little bit different. Now, I'm glad that I act different. Yes, sir. Amen. New creature. Well, I, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. I sought to fit in. Yep. I did. I sought to fit in when I was younger. Wanted to fit in. I did. Yeah. Wanted to fit in. I didn't want to be different. Mm -hmm. no. We see that a lot nowadays. Mm -hmm. right. People want to fit in. Go with the flow. Don't don't ruffle any feathers. Don't, yeah, don't rock that boat now. Just 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 hang in there and just get through. Keep your head down. Keep pushing. You'll be all right. I think it's time for the church to stand up. Amen. I think it's time for the church to stand up. Let's realize who we are. We're the children of God. Amen. Huh? Our Father owns the cattle on a thousand hills. Our Father has all power in heaven and in earth. He has a name above all names. People get scared of the name of COVID. Huh? People get scared of the name of cancer. People get scared of the name of heart attack, of heart disease, or whatever it may be in this life. People get the, 
a certain name that people get scared of. Because when you mention that, they get the spirit of that. But I, my king, have the name above all names. <laughs> and, and nothing is above him. He has all power in heaven and earth. Praise his name today. And that's where my hope is. Uh -huh. So what is your hope at today? What are you anchored in today? What are you trusting in today? I'm, I'm not saying that there's things that won't shake you a little bit. Uh, the rains are going to come. It rains with the just as well as the unjust. The troubles are going to come. The floods are going to rise. The wind is going to blow. Uh, but he says the foolish man builds his house upon the sand. Uh, uh, those are the ones who are trying to, uh, uh, to do things their own way. Uh, and the Bible says the curse is a man who trusts in man. Uh, uh, there's no root system there, are they? Uh, uh, they won't be able to stand. Uh, for when those things come, uh, what happens? Uh, that house So my, 
words to you was, I think it's time for the Christians to stand up. Amen. Yeah. I think it's time for us to get a little louder. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. A little closer. Huh? Yes, sir. Sometimes we think we know what's best. But God knows all things. He sure does. Sometimes we want to do things in our own way. But God knows what he's doing. Do you know when he when he when, when Jesus rose that his disciples before I think it was Peter said he just looked at the brothers and said I'm gonna go fishing I'm going fishing Jesus had died and they probably a little lost wasn't they probably was a little, little hurt little I guess needed direction and in his own sense. And he was a fisher before the Lord had come and called him. And yep. He said, I'm going fishing. Yep. Mm -hmm. And he went out and he began to fish. And some of the other brothers said, I'm going with you. Yep. And they sat out there and they fished and they fished and they fished. And they fished and they fished, and they fished all night long. And the next morning, one of them looked and said, there's somebody on the shore. Yep. Uh, and, and, and it was Jesus, but they didn't, they didn't know right off that it was Jesus. And they began to, they began to holler. Well, actually, Jesus holler and said, have you caught anything? No. No. Told all night. Told all night. No. Told we've not caught day. anything. He said, well, cast your nets over on the right side. Yeah. Right on the right side. Mm -hmm. And they did that. They couldn't even pull the fish in the net with so many of them. God knows. So I'm telling you, let's do it God's way. Amen. Huh? When we don't know what direction to go, and we don't know what, when trouble comes, and we're trying to figure everything out, and, 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 and that's what we do sometimes. We, we want to hash that, especially men. But I tell my wife this sometimes. Women, women are more vocal to try to hash things out. Men, they hold it on the inside, don't they? they and they and they put it in their mind, and they, they want to figure it all out. They got to know what the next step is, and the next step. Uh, let's put it in God's hand, uh, for He knows what's needed. Uh, matter of fact, uh, if we go back for, uh, uh, before uh, Jesus had, had died upon the cross, one other time that He went out into a boat and, and taught the people. And as a matter of fact. And then they told, I guess it was Peter, I guess again, and they began to uh, talk and say, well, cast your net. And this time he told them, was, Peter's like, we fished all night. We, we, we fished all night. We've not caught anything. And think about this for a minute. We, we've not caught nothing. This is a man who's fished for a living. He knew about fishing. You don't want to ask me about fishing. No. Huh? No, you ain't in it. I've never caught a fish. I don't even know how to fish. I don't even know what kind of bait. Matter of fact, if you caught one and gave it to me, and when we take the hook out, I'd be like, okay, no. I don't know. This man fished for a living. He knew all about it. But he didn't question the Lord, did he? Matter of fact, he looked, at, he, he looked back to him and said, At thy word. Yeah, we fished all night and caught up, but at thy word. At thy word. They did that. And, and, and guess what they caught? They had to get another boat to come and help them to pull in the fish. God knows what he's doing. He knows it all. His ways are so far above our ways. And the heavens is the earth. And let's not bring him down to Let's put it in his hands. Amen. And everything's going to be all right. So whatever you're facing today, whatever you're going through, whatever heartache is against you, whatever fiery dart is being fired at you, because yes, I'm telling you, you will face things in this life. Amen. For we battle principalities and power, spiritual wickedness sure do. in high places. We battle those things. Mm -hmm. And if you're here today and you're a Christian, if you're listening and watching and you're a Christian, and you think that you don't battle the devil? And, and, and there's Christians out there who think that. Oh, that demon stuff. No, don't worry about it. No, that's not. We don't battle that. And, oh, we don't battle the devil. Yes, we do. We do. Did, they do, did, did, did he tempt Jesus? We read about how he tempted Jesus. When he went out into the wilderness there, I guess the desert, and was hungry 40 days and 40 nights. What did, what did the devil do? He come up to him. He said, oh, I know you're hungry. I know that you're hungry. Matter of fact, why don't you uh, uh, turn?
He knows what he's doing. Nevertheless, Lord, yeah. at thy word, thy word, at thy word, there's times that God has told me to do things and I've not done it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I don't like those ones. No, sir. <laughs> no, no, no. no. You no. Lose your no. <clears throat> now, I've waited to pick my own list before for my mom and dad. Yeah, me too. And if it wasn't good enough, what'd you have to do? Go get, go get another. As a matter of fact, they might have hit you a few times with that. Why you went to got the other? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I know what that. Maybe we need a bit more of that nowadays. Yes, sir, we do. I think I think we do. I think we do. But a whipping from the Lord. Oh, it's a whole lot different. It's a whole lot different. My dad. My daddy sometimes, and my mom would say, "You need to go whip him." Huh? Now listen to this. She used to be like, "You need, you need to." She'd be, she'd be so mad. You, what your daddy get home? Because huh? I honestly, when I get old enough, she whip me, and it, it just wouldn't hurt as much. So I didn't really. I mean, at the end, my old, a little bit older days. Last year, I guess it was with brother. And mom, they might, <laughs> <coughs> it didn't hurt as bad. She's like, you what your daddy gets home. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Daddy come home. Later, strong. We got worse than the letter. Listen. <laughs> he took me and was sitting me down. <clears throat> and he sat beside of me. Son, let me talk to you. Mm -hmm. And that talk. Oh, heart, brother. Yeah. That talk touched my heart. Mm -hmm. I really got to look at that talk. Yep. The Lord, when he talks to you, when his spirit bears witness with you, yeah, Lord. Huh? now that does something. Sure does. That speaks to you. Say, there's a woman who called me several years ago. She's fairly new at being a Christian. And she could talk her and her husband, I guess, had asked me to come by, and I went by their place, and, <clears throat> and they mentioned before I left that their, their little, I guess, little boy was had some knots pull up on his neck and stuff, and had, something was 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 bad. They were concerned mm -hmm. that they were crying, and they like uh, just remember me in prayer, and I felt it all over me. Yeah, yeah. it's good witness, brother. From my head to my toes, my my hairs were standing up. Back in my neck, and all I could think about, pray right now. Yep. Pray right <clears throat> now. Mm -hmm. Well, this old boy didn't. Uh oh, uh oh. Let me tell you. No. Let's just say, after 20 years ago, I still remember it. Yep. <laughs> to this day, I remember it. Yep. Now, that may even come all right, but I remember being disobedient. Yes, sir. Yep. And people say, <coughs> Why do you do this? Why do you do that? Why are you so bold sometimes? Or why do you say, I'm afraid not to. That's right. I'm afraid not to. Yeah. Do I know why God put it in my mind to come up here this morning? Nevertheless, at his word. Because he knows what needs to be said. He knows where it needs to go. He knows what heart it belongs into. He knows his ways are so far above ours. He woke me up one time. He said, go to the Little Dove Church. People say, you actually heard him say, go to the Little Dove Church? No. I was asleep on the couch. And I just got up. And in my mind, in my mind, I felt I need to go to the Little Dove Church. And I told my wife, I'm going to go to the Little Dove Church. And that, and that morning, we had planned on going somewhere. I had an uncle that was sick that was out of town. I said, we're going to go see him. Because I heard it was real bad. And, we, and they said, if you want to see him, you need to come now. And I said, I'm going to go to church. She said, I thought we were going to go to Richmond. I said, I can't. I actually laid back down. And he woke up the second time. Little Dove Church. I went to Little Dove Church. Yep. And I felt good. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Who did it touch? I don't know. Yep. Yeah. It, it wasn't done. There was a man one time who stood in the stand. Who had no idea who I was, but he preached the gospel. Amen. 
He had no idea where I was sitting, but he preached the gospel. Yes, sir. Nevertheless, that word, he was obedient. What did it do? It touched my heart. It opened my eyes. And it made me a little closer to God. You never know who will touch you. You never know. Well, yes, this is more than church on Sunday. This life is more than Wednesday night services. This, this, this is my life. I came here today for you to tell you about the love of God. To tell you it's time we stand a little more. Stand for Christ a little more. Stand for Christ a little more. Your children depend on it. Your grandchildren depend on it. Your neighbors depend on it. Yes, they do. Let's stand. For tomorrow and never. Never regret that, brother. Wonderful advice. Brother Junior, come on. speak and it's done. Commands and it stands fast. Amen. No man can add to it or take away from it.
midst of persecution. Stand by me. In the midst of persecution, stand by me. When my foes and battles array, undertake to stop my way. Thou who say, Paul and Silas, stand by me. Uh, 
that you put before God and you mix a God out of it. Some mix a God out of gold or silver. Some mix a God out of maybe their automobiles or their home. The man life don't conceal in the abundance of things the chief is in. No, no, friend. There's life and only one and that life in the Lord Jesus Christ that holy Lamb of God that was for to come brother. I heard God brother. He said he beheld he beheld the depravity of man and he cried brother. I listened when he saw there was none worthy to open open that book that we're in today. I'm talking about this grace covenant brother. I think of the second coming to come. Of the covenant of the law was coming to an end. Uh, but there was one yet to come. Uh, uh, came from the foundation of the world. Uh, uh, his name is Jesus, brother. And uh, uh, he was that holy man of God. Uh, oh, John said, I begin to win. Uh, boy, I uh, no doubt, brother. Uh, uh, we look out today and we weep and cry. Uh, but there is hope of a tree. Uh, if it be cut down, you free uh, uh, through the sin of water. Uh, uh, we're talking about this spiritual life. Uh, uh, here today, brother, uh, uh, this tree died dead in the sin one time. Uh, and I was a dead man. Uh, uh, but by the sin of water, uh, of one man called Jesus, uh, uh, they come down off in that crawl. Uh, uh, of his side, I came blood and water. Uh, it gave life unto me. Uh, it covered my sin, my friend. Uh, it covered your sin today. Uh, and John began to weep and cry. Uh, uh, there were none found worthy. Uh, uh, they searched the heaven below. Uh, uh, they searched the heaven uh, and beneath the earth. And there, uh, uh, there was no man found worthy. Uh, uh, he wasn't in the body yet, brother. Uh, uh, there was no man found worthy in heaven. Uh, uh, he was a spirit, brother. Uh, uh, listen today, friend. Uh, he had a spiritual body. Uh, uh, oh, but there was a strong angel uh, uh, come unto John again uh, uh, to speak unto John and say, uh, uh, John, weep not. Uh, uh, behold, uh, out of the line of the tribe of Judah, uh, one hath prevailed, John, uh, uh, to open this book uh, and to loose the seal thereon. Uh, uh, it was sealed up, brother. Uh, it was sealed. Uh, I'm going to tell you today, friend, uh, uh, there was none was able to break that seal. Uh, uh, but Jesus cried, uh, uh, my son today, brother, uh, they foretold of this man to come uh, 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 a long time ago, uh, uh, before he ever come into this world. Uh, he said, Thou Bethlehem, uh, in the land of Judea, uh, though thou be small among the nation, uh, uh, yet out of thee shall come uh, uh, forth a ruler, brother, uh, that was going to rule all nations uh, uh, with a rod of arm today. Uh, uh, what kind of a rod has he got in his hand, brother? Uh, uh oh, it's a rod of the forty. Yeah. It's the word of the living God. Yeah. And our own, uh, listen, young, saw him there uh, uh, on the Isle of Pathos, brother. Uh, after he had rained, uh, I want to get this out here. Uh, uh, John saw him and said uh, he was at the sun shining in his trim. Uh, I listened the day uh, he had on his head. Uh, I listened to that road <coughs> on wine. Uh, I listened uh, he had on his head a brown. Uh, I listened out of his mouth with four uh, a sharp <coughs> two-edged sword. Uh, his eyes was at uh, uh, the flame of fire. Uh, his feet had been burned in a fiery burning. Uh, uh, oh, and when he spoke, uh, he spoke to many water, brother. Uh, 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 listen today, uh, I believe he speaks today, uh, and his voice fills the universe. Uh, uh, there are no God like our God. Uh, I don't wonder today with an old that said, uh, Our God, brother, uh, he's a strong tyrant. Uh, uh, he's my rock. Uh, uh, he's my rock in the word of man. Uh, he said in that day, uh, uh, here he comes again, brother. Uh, he said in that day, uh, uh, shall a man be as a hiding place. Uh, and there's a rock and a cold and a storm. Uh, and from the storm, brother, there's a cold for there to hide in. Uh, uh, oh, in that day shall the sun arrive to none. Uh, arrive with healing in his wing. Uh, uh, get under the wing uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ, brother. Uh, 
I miss him, John, when he looked. And the angel said, one that prevailed, the lamb came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sits upon high, brother. Listen, and he opened that book up, and he, and he loosed the seals thereof. And you know what he said when he was on earth? He said that the book of Isaiah was delivered unto him. And he began to read from the book of Isaiah. Oh, this day, is this scripture fulfilled in your ear? He sent me the loom of the loaves are in the prison house. And the old, uh, uh, listen, that was bound. Uh, uh, what were they bound, my brother? A uh, sin and bound them. Uh, uh, there was no law that could get right. Uh, or verily righteousness would have came by the law. Uh, the law came by no uh, uh, All the grace and truth uh, came by the Lamb of God. Uh, that holy Lamb was to come. Uh, I'm going to tell you that name, brother. Uh, he is here today, friend. Uh, uh, won't you build your house upon him? Him. He said, what house will you build me? And where is the place of mine ago? He wants to buy at your house today. He was like little Zach, his brother, and I, they climbed into the sycamine tree. I listened to the day, brother, and I, and when Jesus come by, he knew where he's at. I, I'm going to tell you the day, sinner man, and he knows where you're at today. He knows your thoughts are far off. His eyes going to and fro before the whole world. I, I listen, beholding both the good and the evil. I, I, oh, Zach, I, I come down from there. I, I just stay. I must abide at thy house. Uh, I want you to know today uh, he's a knocking at your heart's door, sinner man. Uh, and he's a pawn. He wants to come in. Uh, he wants to take up his abode and die. Uh, he wants to give unto you eternal life. Uh, he wants to sup with you uh, and you with him. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, he said, come and taste all the Lord. But, uh, uh, why, how good is the Lord. Uh, how sweet is his pain uh, uh, oh brother uh, how sweet is his pain uh, unto a man that is lost brother uh, and, and can't find no uh, rest in the world uh, uh, when you turn your life uh, over to him friend uh, uh, hit sweet to your pain uh, 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 listen today brother uh, uh, I read and hear where uh, uh, he was given the book was given uh, unto a man uh, he said it be sweet in thy mouth in thy mouth, uh, but it'll be better in your stomach, brother. Uh, 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 listen, when the Lord lets you taste of him, uh, it's sweet. And uh, 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 when the commandment uh, uh, hits where you live, friend, uh, uh, it ain't sweet no more, doll. Uh, uh, you want to turn from it. No, uh, I want you. Uh, I don't want you to turn from it. Uh, I want you to invite him into your house. Uh, oh, friend, uh, I'll be like Zach you. Uh, take him home with you. I had a little talk with Gene. Uh, he knows all about you. He knows your trouble. Uh, he knows your sorrow. Uh, he knows your fun. Uh, I don't want to tell you today. Uh, and he died for you, sinner man. Uh, he wants you to come uh, with that broken heart and contrite spirit. Uh, uh, you can't come to him in pride. Uh, uh, no, no, friend. Uh, he done it all on the cross. Uh, uh, you can't work it out. No, uh, uh, the first thing you're going to have to do. Uh, uh, you have, I had to give the world up, brother. I, I had to turn from that world. I, I had to put my whole heart in that. I, I, oh, seeking of how he may be found. I, I call upon him while he's near. I, I, for the day of his coming is nigh. And who shall be able to stand I, I, the day of his coming? I, I'm going to tell you who's going to stand, brother. I, only them that's been down. I've been down to the banquet house. I, and the banquet over them has been love uh, and the grace uh, and the love of God, brother, uh, has cleansed them from all sin. Uh, a whole new creature in Christ. Uh, old things that they do, uh, done away with. Uh, uh, behold, all things uh, uh, become new, brother, today. Uh, 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 listen today and then. Uh, our desires has changed. Uh, I don't have a desire to go out uh, and do the things I once done. Uh, I don't have a desire to use the word I, I once done. I, he said in that day, I, I'll turn unto my people a, a pure language, brother. I, I'm going to tell you, I, and they shall show forth the praise of God. I, oh, and everything I, 
that has the bread. Let it praise this God of heaven. He's worthy today, friend. Come and see a man that told me all things that I ever done. Is he not this lamb? Is he not this crowd of brethren? He is the lamb of God that was for to come into this world. He came and died on an old rugged crawl. He gave his life for you and I. Oh, friend. He said, and they persecute me. Uh, they also persecute you. Uh, uh, so today, let your light shine uh, uh, that men can see uh, in a corrupt world today. Uh, uh, they can see your light is shining. Uh, he said, you're his light uh, in the world, friend, today. Uh, uh, oh, and if you don't know him today, uh, uh, there's a light is shining uh, in your very heart. Uh, and you do well if you take heed of that light uh, that shines in your heart. Uh, until the day dawn uh, and the day star arise uh, in your heart today. Uh, who is this day star, brother, uh, that sprang from on high? I uh, had visited us, uh, brother. What did he do? Uh, he brought knowledge of salvation uh, about the tender mercy of our God. Uh, he sent him into this world. He unbosomed him, son. Uh, oh, uh, you can have life and uh, you can have it more abundantly. Uh, but there's life in the land. Uh, there's life in the blood. Uh, listen today, friend. Uh, build your house uh, upon the rock. Uh, the rock uh, is going to stand the test of time. Uh, but if you build your house upon the sand, uh, I'm going to tell you today, friend, uh, your house will be tested uh, by the storm and the light, uh, by temptations and trials and tribulations. Uh, and if you've not been, uh, your house is not upstanding uh, upon the rock. Brother, I, I'm going to tell you it's going to fall, uh, and it's great going to be the fall of the howl. Uh, but if you built your house upon the rock, uh, uh, listen there. I uh, found two places in the Bible. Uh, uh, one place said it shook not, uh, and the other place said it fell not. Uh, I'm going to tell you it's unmovable today. Uh, uh, oh, uh, greater is He that's in you. Uh, and he that's in the world, brother. Uh, but the Lord comes here. Uh, he binds a strong man. Uh, he spoils his goods. He casts him out. Uh, and the stronger man comes in. Mm -hmm. Who is a stronger man? Ah, oh, listen today. That no man has greater power than him. I'm going to tell you today, he has all power. Uh, when he left this world, Jesus, uh, uh, listen there that day, uh, uh, there was a cloud coming while, uh, uh, while the cloud come, uh, uh, he was a blessing them, brethren, that was around, uh, uh, he was a blessing them, uh, uh, getting ready to leave, uh, uh, listen the day when that cloud uh, uh, took him away, brother, uh, as the angels carried him up uh, uh, into this cloud, uh, uh, oh, give me a Galilee, uh, why stand you gazing in the heaven, uh, uh, this same Jesus that you see ascending in the cloud uh, is going to come like manner uh, uh, all this on the day friend uh, he said if I go away I'll come again uh, and I'll receive you unto myself uh, uh, that where I am there you may be also uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to tell you uh, I stake my life uh, on the promise of God uh, that if he goes away he'll come uh, and he's coming after uh, uh, the bride the lamb's wife uh, uh, she's made herself ready uh, uh, by being covered in the blood of the lamb uh, uh, brother in the day we're not living in fornication brother uh, uh, we're not committing adultery like some of my thing uh, uh, we are a part of that bride today uh, and it is the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, uh, we are a part of his body uh, uh, being born again uh, uh, not of a corruptible Amen. seed uh, uh, but of an incorruptible by the word of God uh, uh, which lives and abides forever uh, he's not talking about the written word uh, he's talking about that living word brother uh, uh, that was made flesh uh, and dwelt among us uh, and we beheld his glory uh, at the glory of the only begotten of the Father uh, uh, full of grain uh, full of truth uh, uh, bless him, bless him today uh, uh, for in him there is life yeah. in him there is light and in him there is no darkness at all Amen. I'm going to tell you today if you've been born again and you've got a light in you yeah. and you let the world you let the world see it's not as much as what you say. It's how you walk. 
I'm going to tell you today, you walk your way, you walk uh, in a straight path. He said, and the, and the path of the righteous shine more and more uh, unto a perfect day. Uh, uh, there's a perfect day coming, brother, uh, and it ain't going to be long. Uh, I believe time is running out, children, uh, upon this wicked world. Uh, are you ready to meet the Lamb of God? Uh, are you ready to meet Him uh, when He comes again after His bride? Uh, or are you going to be like the five foolish that uh, didn't have no oil? <laughs> Uh, uh, the five wise and made them trim their lamps. Uh, uh, listen, but there was five wise. Uh, and when the bridegroom come, uh, uh, give us some of your oil. Uh, well, friend, you ain't got none to give. Uh, I'm going to tell you, you just got enough for your own sale. Uh, uh, you've only got enough uh, uh, that the blood has cleansed your sins. Uh, he said, no longer shall uh, uh, the parents eat sour grapes uh, and set the children's teeth on the edge. Uh, but the soul to sin, uh, uh, it shall die. Yeah. And you're going to have to repent for your own sins. And if you're like the foolish, when the bride comes, what's he going to do? He's going to say, bind them, cast them out. Bind them and cast them out. I'm going to tell you, when the Lord returns again, there's going to be a resurrection of the just and the unjust. Brother. They say what they want. Some believe in this thousand year millennial reign. I'm here to tell you today. <laughs> I told my wife last night, Jesus, there's a prophecy in the book of Daniel. In the days of these kings shall the Lord God of heaven set up a kingdom, one. Yep. And he told his disciples there, he said, some of you shall not taste death until you see the kingdom come in great power. Amen. Well, I'm going to tell you today, I ain't seen none of the apostles still hanging around here in you. <sighs> no, but on the day of Pentecost, the kingdom came down with Lord, great power and great glory. Jesus said, if I go not away, the comforter will not come. But if I go away, I'm going to pray the Father, and he'll send you another comforter in my name. And on the day of Pentecost, he sent it back, brother. Yeah. The baptism of John has come to an end. You need the baptism of the fire and the Holy Ghost today in order to get into the kingdom today. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you get into the kingdom. He said, it don't come by observation. Right. But the kingdom of God is within you. If you've been born again, you've got that kingdom in you. Right. And I'm going to tell you, when he returns, he's coming after that kingdom. Right. He's not coming to set up on this earth another thousand years and reign over whatever they might think. I know they twist it and turn it. There's a place for that, but I'm not, I'm not going to get into that. I just want you to know that today's the day of salvation. Yes, if you will hear his voice, don't harden your hearts. And they did in the days of provocation. When they saw the wrath of God, ten times, he said they saw his wrath. But you would think they learned. But we think you think we'd learn, wouldn't you? Huh? Yeah. Think about it. Man, <clears throat> brother quoted this. Man is heart is desperately wicked mm -hmm. and evil above all things. I'm going to tell you there's only one can tame that heart. Yes, there's only one can give you power to overcome Satan. By the Holy Spirit, and he sent down on the day of Pentecost. You can say unto the devil, if, you, if you've been born again, get behind me, Satan. Yeah. Get behind me, Satan. And you can walk on that straight and narrow path, let your light shine and show them to the world whose side that you're on. If you've been born again today, I'm going to say this. You've got a command. Brother Darrell preached about uh, uh, being baptized. If you've been born today, you've got a command. To be baptized. One time, brother. I'm not this two-man baptizing thing. I believe in the only fulfilling the right. You can only fulfill all righteousness one time. And when he full, when you fulfill all righteousness, you can put your light on the candlestick and tell the world whose side you're on. Yeah. Therefore, being buried with Christ. Mm -hmm. You've got to be, but you've got to have him before you can be buried with him. Amen, brother. Be buried with Christ in baptism, the rise, the walk, and the newness of life. Uh -huh. I preached one time, and the man said, I don't believe that. I preached, if you don't put your light on the candlestick, the world don't have no confidence in you. You confess all day long, they won't have no confidence in you. I tell you. Yeah. As soon as you go down to the water, you put your light on the candlestick with your believing brothers and sisters. I'm going to tell you, they begin to watch your life. Yeah. They'll see whether you've got the goods or not. Yeah. 
And if they can find something, they'll twist at you. Yeah, they'll tell you, I ain't nothing you. I'm good as you are. I'm going to tell you, friend, that you're going to heaven for yourself. Except you repent, Jesus said you'll perish. And where I am, you cannot come. And you do well to take heed to that life. You do well to follow it. It will lead you unto life. The same light that teaches you that you're already a sinner. Condemnation is there. Yep. The same light. You already have condemnation. The light that enlightens you that you already are a sinner. It does. That same light, if you take heed to it, will give you life if you'll follow it. Where are you going to follow it to? To the arms of Jesus. Amen. Come ye blessed to my Father. Yes. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you before the foundation of the world. I'm going to tell you today. We have a hope. And our hope is an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast. And you have a seal upon you, sealed until the day of redemption. There's not enough devils in hell to touch one of you. No. Because you've been sealed. Sir. And you're there by the power of the Holy Spirit of our God, who is, who is Lord and God over all. <coughs> Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Thank the Lord. But yet, if there be a little in the storehouse, I do have a song in my mind I sing, and then, uh, then we'll maybe a word or two and we'll call for a song. So don't get worried. Life is so easy when we're Still 
as all of his children were gone, taken from him, as the house crumbled on him, and their crops were destroyed, and the cattle died. Oh, and his servants even died and were destroyed. Oh, yes. And there he sat alone oh, with his wife. That's all he had left in this world. Oh, yes, the one that had been so blessed. And he was in a valley. You talk about needing God down in a valley. Oh, Job never turned his back on the one. Oh, yes, brother, today oh, that he trusted in. Oh, the brothers come to him. And I'll tell you how brother men think today. Oh, we want to have peace in this church. Oh, let's get together and lift one another up and not be uh, uh, pointing fingers and putting them down. Oh, but these brothers meant well, but they had no idea what Job was going through. And a man's eye couldn't see it. They couldn't understand it. And the brothers come to him and they love him. And they saw the shape he was in with sores uh, from his head to his feet. He was in trouble. Oh, yes, he was in trouble. I remember when I was in trouble. Oh, yes. And there was only one that could help me out. Oh, Lord, bless him. And as the brethren come upon him, I believe they loved him and they meant well because they stood off afar for several days and watched little Job suffer. Oh, yes. And then finally, uh, they went down. Job's wife at first told him, why don't you just curse the Lord and die? And he said, oh, woman, you speak as one of the foolish women. Uh, yes, he didn't want that advice. And he, yes, the Lord give it, the Lord take it away. When he ripped off his mantle, God bless him. Oh, uh, yes. And then he fell on his knees and gave the God glory. Would you be able to do that? Oh, Lord, blessed be the name of my Lord. Mm -hmm. And the men come to him, and they begin to advise him. First, they didn't even open their mouth. They loved him. They didn't open their mouth. Yeah. They waited on him. And as soon as he opened his mouth, then here they came. If this ever happened to you, they stayed in my word. Job, what have you done to yourself? God was not a God like this. He would not put this on you. He would not hurt you like this. You've been a good servant to him. He wouldn't do it. Oh, I'll tell you how Job answered it. Your brother get you a song. Oh, Job answered it this way. Oh, yes, in my words. He said, the very moment I opened my mouth to try to tell you what I'm going through, oh, my very words will condemn me in your eyes. You can't explain it. Brother and brother shouldn't try to be a look and, and try to tell what God's will is. Because God's will be done on earth and on earth as it is in heaven. And let his ways be God's ways and man's ways, man's ways. And what the God's telling you to do, do it. And you're going to sit and suffer like old Job. But Job stuck with him. He never wavered on him. And guess what? Everything he had was returned unto him. So God bless him. Now he was back on the mountain with the Lord. And it can be with you the same way. Children, let me forgive you. Come home. Oh, yes. Come home and tell the church what good thing somebody give a song that the Lord has done for you. I'll never get one telling the good things you've done for me. Oh, yes. God bless you. The church doors are open. Oh, yes. We'd love to see you come with a little green olive leaf in your mouth. I'll tell them the good things the Lord has done for you. God bless you.
uh, many years ago, a land that flowed with milk and honey. Mm -hmm. It was a natural land to the children of Israel when they crossed uh, over into uh, across Jordan, uh, over into Canaan. Uh, but it was a type and figure of the spiritual land that we're going to inherit. You see, we're going to inherit that. Uh, through, through the blood of Christ. When you come to know Him as a as your personal Savior, you become an heir of God and join heir with Jesus Christ. And we're going to inherit that heavenly land one day. Brother, I believe we're already heirs of that land, joint heirs of Jesus Christ. And when He comes again, where He is, there we may be also. So wherever the Lord's at, that's where I'm going to be. And I hope today if you've heard something that will fill your hearts and you want to come back, and, uh, give in her, so we're going to turn to these brethren and let them give her uh, meetings out. And uh, I'm sure they want you to come and visit them. Sunday, 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 Sunday. Come see us at Rock Four because on the 4th, 10 o'clock, the odd 10 o'clock, every Wednesday night around 6 30. It's just online as well. And uh, love being here today. Pray for us. Oh, <laughs> out of the mouth of babes comes perfect praise. <laughs> brother, brother Junior, I'd like to give out my sister's church to Midway Baptist in Elyria, Ohio. Brother Chuck Cassis uh, and uh, his son Rick, or the they have church every Sunday. Yes. Sandy's birthday today. Yes. Sandy's birthday. Oh, birthday, brother. All right. So we got two things here. We want to do. We want to sing happy to dear loved ones, and and then the girls want something to say about better. So. Let's, let's just sing happy birthday to him. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Father, all these. 